Hello there. In this video, I'm going to show you how to remove class meetings from your calendar. You know, there may be situations where you were in a class last school year or you moved classrooms during the school year. And even though you've changed classrooms, you're still going to get notifications about class meetings from those older classrooms. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to remove those class meetings so you don't continue to get pop-ups and notifications. All right, let's dig in. So here I am in the web browser. The first thing I'm going to want to do is go to office.com and this will take me to Office 365, of course, where I can then access Microsoft Teams. Now, you also might have Microsoft Teams running on your desktop. You likely have it, so this can also be done in the desktop version of Teams. I'm now going to go down here to the Teams app and load Microsoft Teams. Okay, so the Teams app has loaded, and as you can see, I'm the member of three different class teams. And what I'm going to do is go over here to my calendar. So right here, I've got a calendar icon. I'll go ahead and click on that. And this will take me to the view of my calendar. And so let's take a look at this. What you're going to see here is I have several class teams going. Look, I have two class teams going at the same time. So what I want to do is get rid of one of these. Right now, I'm currently in uh, Mr. D's class. So where it says class meeting with Mr. D, this is the one I want to keep. But this other one, science class meeting, this is an older class from last year. And so I want to go ahead and delete this recurring meeting. So what I'll do is I'll click on this. And actually, I'll go ahead and click on it two times. We'll give it a double click. And it will open up there for me. OK, and so in order to remove this from my calendar, um, I'm going to go over here where it says RSVP. And I'll click the drop down here. And you notice I have two options. I can respond to the occurrence or I can respond to the series. So I'm going to go ahead first and respond to this series to uh, accept it. Or I could just go ahead and decline it. If you haven't ever responded to the meeting that was sent out to you, then you can just go ahead and click decline. And make sure you are responding to the series. That means you're responding to every single meeting that's repeating every day. So I can go ahead and click on that. But just to show you, if I had accepted this, it's going to look a little different. See, now it says accepted. And this time, when I click in the drop down, I have, again, respond to occurrence or respond to series. In this case, I'm going to respond to the series and I'll go ahead and click Decline. And so now you'll notice that the meeting is gone. It's no longer showing up on my calendar, which means I will no longer get notifications about it. And look at this. Here's another class meeting, which was, it has been canceled. You can see it says canceled, and it's got a slash through it. So I'm going to open up this one because there's no need for me to keep this on my calendar either. So I'll just go ahead. You can see here I have the, the option here to remove from calendar. And again, I want to remove the series because I want to remove every single one that occurs. So I'll click Remove Series. That will remove it from my calendar. And so now I've cleaned up my calendar. It looks fantastic. I've got one class meeting each day, which is exactly what I want. All right, and that is how you remove class meetings from your calendar. But remember, do not remove the class meeting that you are currently attending. All right, hope this was helpful and have a great day.